Shenzhen, China, our new hometown. Uh, we are in the Lohu district. About two miles that way is the Hong Kong uh, mainland border crossing, and behind me is McDonald's. Not that exciting, except this is actually the first McDonald's that opened in uh, mainland China. Uh, October, it was 1990, a full two years before it opened in Beijing. Uh, it's still here, and it's in this crazy pedestrian area called Dongmen Pedestrian Street, uh, which as you can see is more or less total chaos. We got a chicken rice bowl. We got a black hamburger that is chicken, but we don't know what else is on it. We got a German double beef sausage thing. We got a pie that's made of low pots. And oh, so let's try it. I mean, chicken rice bowls are really popular in China, so like every fast food chain has them. I don't know why this chicken's very orange. That's the only thing I don't really understand, but I'm not gonna ask any questions. It has two burger patties and sausage and cheese and mustard. It's like German-ish and it's decent. Um, beef items are not very popular here at McDonald's in China, so it's like a, an attempt. I still prefer Big Mac. So it's basically a grilled chicken burger with cheese, lettuce, and like a, a chili, chili mayonnaise. Uh, and I don't know why the bun is black, but it's not. It's okay. All right, last item. This is a pie made out of loquat and pear. So it probably is pretty good, but let's find out. I mean. It's, it's sugary and fried. It tastes vaguely fruit-like. I mean, ticks all the boxes. <laughs> all right, so we are in our local neighborhood here uh, in Shenzhen. It's called Shiko. Uh, we are in Sea World Plaza, not connected to the amusement park. And uh, behind us is actually McDonald's, but we're going next to it, which is KFC. Uh, and eventually we go to Pizza Hut, which is actually down there as well. Oh, one more thing, I'm sitting on a bench that's in the shape of a whale tail. Why? I'm not sure. So at the McDonald's we order on the touch screen. Here at KFC, uh, we can order through uh, uh, WeChat. So I just basically scanned the code. If a guy came up to us, we scanned a QR code, and it brought up basically their whole menu. So I get stood by the front, ordered on my phone, paid for it on my phone, and it sent to the kitchen, and then they bring it to us at the table. Pretty smart. All right, so here's what we got at KFC. We got a rice bowl with chicken and some vegetables. Rice underneath. We got chicken on a stick. Drew insisted. We got some soup. I don't know, a vegetable or something. We got a fruit pie. And this is a so some kind of chicken wrap. We figured we'd like this one for sure, so we got this one just in case the rest goes terribly wrong. We have chicken wing on a skewer. Again, not unique to KFC, McDonald's has these as well. It's funny that they turn chicken wing into like a weird finger food and the whole thing's attached, but whatever. This wrap is pretty simple actually. It's fried chicken with like a sweet poison sauce. Drew just reminded me that it actually might be a play on like kind of the duck, like the way that you serve duck traditionally, which is with poison and cucumber, because there's also cucumber in this. But I think there also might be mayonnaise, so I'm not quite sure. But it's pretty tame, like easy. I would eat this again, no problem so far. Some of the McDonald's, KFC also has a rice bowl. This one's constructed a little bit differently. Biggest difference, which you'll see a lot in China, is even at KFC, the pieces, small piece of chicken, still have bones attached. 
and there's no real easy way of eating it without looking silly, unless you're trying to use it, in which case you're really good at it. Last stop on our culinary extravaganza uh, is the fruit pie. Now these are similar to McDonald's in that they are smaller than U.S. standards. The crust is really, really crispy. Um, these are red meat and uh, the crust is not sweet. So that makes it a little less offensive from a sweetness level. But they're really, really sweet. But actually pretty good. I, I like it. All right, so we are on our third and final stop. Uh, we are going to Pizza Hut. Uh, so we will not be getting a Supreme Pizza or anything simple. We're gonna try to find something weird as well as they have a variety of appetizers and side dishes and stuff that are a little different. So, wish us luck. All right, today we have mashed potatoes with durian. Uh, San, or Air and Sea special holiday pizza. This is rice with goulash, and this is fruit tea. I'm nervous. Delicious. So this pizza is one of the holiday specials. It is like a beef on one side, shrimp on the other, there's some pineapple, there's green beans, there's some other stuff, there's lots of corn, and then the base is a cranberry barbecue. And in these little crust pockets is cream cheese with cranberry. I mean, it's like a nice mix of salty and sweet and all that stuff, so I kinda like it. All right, so this is the uh, potato gratin with durian and cheese. <coughs> Durian being known as the super stinky fruit. It's also kind of like creamy a little bit, almost kind of like a banana y sort of thing. So it's a weird texture to have something already that has no texture in mashed potatoes. So, interesting but different. So, I think my final thoughts on this little experiment of ours is that I'm really happy that China has made these three restaurants like work for the culture and the palate here. That said, when I'm craving fast food, what I crave are all the things that I know, like the Big Macs of the world. So I'm still gonna always eat the least healthy thing on these menus. Uh, I would say the takeaway is that fast food places here are just as kind of average <laughs> as they are uh, anywhere else. Uh, just what they offer is a little bit different. Um, but at the same time here, you can go to really like neighborhood corner joints and get like hand pulled noodles for about the cost of a McDonald's hamburger. So there are other options that are probably better and cheaper. So it's probably best to stick with